If you're tired of your graphics and your videos not looking the best, then strap in for Edge Feather and we'll get that taken care of in about 30 seconds. What up? I love you. Today we're going through Edge Feather. So as always, go to your effects panel, type in Edge Feather, grab that effect, throw it onto your clip, and then we're gonna move to the effect controls panel. Make sure you're paying attention because we have a lot to go through here. Once you're looking at the effects control panel for Edge Feather, we're gonna have a few options. And by a few, I mean one, amount. The default amount for Edge Feather is four, and that just gives you 4% out of 100% or four Edge Feather, however you wanna quantify it. Edge Feather in the very root basic form is giving a vignette, a around your clip. It's a black vignette and it goes around the entirety of the clip. When it's at four, it's barely noticeable. If you crank it up to 50%, you'll see it start creeping in. What it's allowing you to do is feather the edge of your asset, whatever you're doing on, you can do it on video clip, image clip, you can't do it on audio clip, I'm sorry about that. But it's allowing you to blend that clip in with what other clips you're utilizing. A quick easy example for this is if you take a color mat, let's use a red color mat, and we put a, a, just a rectangle on the clip, make it a little smaller, we'll throw it like right here-ish and you have that naturally, no effects on it, you're gonna see harsh edges. When you add edge feather to it, the more you put it up, you'll see it start to blend more with the root video. Now that's the only control you have, but you can add mass to it, you can transform it, you can move it around, do whatever you need to do with edge feather. Now how does this help you improve your graphics that you're using in your video? Well, one thing that happens commonly is people take screenshots, let's say of a news article, and they'll throw that onto the video while they're talking about it. So if I slide over a little bit and give a little more room, we can throw up a graphic right in the space. When you put that in the clip, you'll see harsh edges on it. Cool, no worries. That doesn't necessarily look the best. You, there's a few options you have to make this look better, but one of the quick solutions is edge feather. So throw edge feather on the clip, turn it up to 25, 30, 40%, depending on your, your asset. And now it looks like it flows in more. Alternatively, you could add a drop shadow to it. Kind of same concept, just a little different. It's just dependent on your style. But to really improve your graphics, you don't want to just add one effect. You want to layer a bunch of little things together cohesively that are going to allow you to have an overall better appearance. So what we want to do for this is we'll take our root article, we'll throw it back up in the space. We're going to add edge feather to it, and then we're going to go back a few keyframes, and we're going to keyframe that into it. So the results will look something like this. So in a nutshell, that is Edge Feather. I'd love to hear about what you use it for and how you implement it in your videos. And as always, you're welcome to drop comments down below, but alternatively, you can join our Discord. The Discord serves as a place for us to jump in, ask your question, answer other people's question, work collaboratively on video projects you have upcoming. So if you're interested, link down in the description, join the Squid Crate Discord, it's Squid Crate World. We'd love to have you. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel watch our videos, put our videos on loop in the background, continue watching our videos, watch our videos over and over, master our videos, really watch the videos, watch the videos, please watch, watch, share, watch, watch it.